So it's time again to dip into Pete Doherty's book, A Likely Lad, to see what naughty indie stories we can find. When it comes to the Libertines and Arctic Monkeys, I remember watching his clip of Alex Turner and Matt Helders talking about dancing and listening to Libertines songs back in the day. It's really worth seeing, isn't it? Yeah. If I could, yeah, if there's a way we could go and like jump around with our old mates to like Libertines tunes. The way we used to, I would of Welcome course open arms, relish right? that opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Man. I even knocked dust off my tunic. Like. <laughs> true. It's a true story, that. I can sort of remember like, in the Seeing moment. The yeah, yeah, like... Um, up the bracket, like on Nick's Walkman or whatever, like on the, fucking, on the bus and being like, wow, you know. Yeah, that's that what, like, like, and it does that thing to you where that I would submit to you <laughs> music is supposed to do, which like is make you f- feel something that, you know, you kind of don't really have a choice. I'd also seen these humorous photos of Alex Turner with Carl Barat from back in the day, but I'd never heard of an interaction between Turner and Doherty. However, in his book, Doherty recounts the following tale. Mick and I started to have these long sessions, plotted up writing, and it became a very creative, fertile time. We went in and recorded a load of songs, and that was the genesis of the Blinding EP that came out towards the end of 2006. We recorded it in the studio under Fabric in Farringdon. This young northern lad, seemed about 14, popped down to say hello. I thought he was just some fan who wanted something signed. He was just getting in the way, so I was sort of a bit brusque with him, saying, look, we're recording here. Unless you've got any gear for me, you best toddle off. And he seemed a bit miffed. It was Alex Turner. Arctic Monkeys were at the peak of their first wave of fame, but I genuinely didn't know who he was. He obviously didn't have the heart to say, look, I'm in Arctic Monkeys. I'd like to come and hang out in the studio. He just turned on his heels and tottered off. He must have thought I'd fobbed him off because I tried to get backstage at an Arctic Monkeys gig later with Kate because she really liked them. And he put out a request that we weren't allowed to watch from the side of the stage. I remember running up the ramp at this festival trying to avoid getting rugby tackled by the Arctic Monkey security. Brutally honest stuff from Doherty there, as he is in the entire book to be fair. But what do you make of it? Was Alex Turner right to seek a bit of revenge? Or should he have had a bit of a laugh about it and offered an olive branch? Have your say in the comments.